Good day, traders. Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading, and today just going to go over uh, one of the simple strategies that I use, and I'm um, just going to highlight on a couple of the basics and and give you some resources of where you can go to learn more or test this out for yourself. This is um, a strategy that. Um, John Carter talks about in his book Mastering the Trade and I'll include that link below to his book. Uh, for those of you who have read John's book or who have followed any of his work know that um, he's uh, been a very successful trader on um, in the US markets, different different markets, but he uses a couple of strategies that are employable with Forex and um, I use this on the hourly charts uh, and the end of day. This is my main system on the end of day um, and I still will look for this uh, depending on the setups during the week of the daily charts. I will often tend to look for uh, hope and lope opportunities on the hourly charts with different pairs as well. We're just looking at the Mexican peso. And um, hope and lope basically is identifying the high of the low period and the low of the high period which uh, stands for the HOLP and the LOHP. This is something else that um, uh, Larry uh, Connors and Linda Bradford Ratchke talk about in their uh, Street Smarts trading book with their Turtle Soup strategy and Trader Vic uh, methods of Trader Vic Tr Vic Sperando with his 20-day um, breakout uh, false break false entry pattern. So one of the things that you will look to do and you can see that these dotted lines represent the rollover time for the end of the 24 hour market working at the uh, Mexican peso. Uh, we'll look at the pound in a second. It doesn't really matter. But what I look for is I'll look for new lows being made at the any time but usually at the end of the day and as the US markets or sorry the uh, London markets are opening I'll be looking for the market to have given us a new low and where the low in this particular case because it's made a new 20 period low we look at the high of the low period now in this particular instance we're looking at the Asia close and the London open time frame and this is a perfect opportunity and where the the trade is entered is a break of that high period with a limit order and a one bar stop. So in this particular case the market continued to trade and trade to the upper side of the previous US session highs, London US session highs from the previous day and again we have this same situation set up up top here where we have a new 20 period high and an opportunity for traders to limit order the low of the high period with a one bar stop. Now again I will look for um, Monday, Tuesday, Friday, Monday patterns where we've got uh, the range has been established, the opening range of the week and look for, for markets that are opening up towards the new high or new low for the day and I'll come back and check that later in the session. So in this particular case, the peso the next day did not make a new low during the London session. But as we get into the New York Open, we see a pin bar. And again, we have a low, sorry, the high of the low period. And what's great about this is I am able to really identify my maximum stop loss, which in this case is one bar. And I can also identify a potential first place for that market to want to trade to. And that's at least two to one. Now it's important, for example, traders who bought down here, we've got a range, but we don't see any evidence of two-sided trading. So again, we've got the high of the low period. It's a one bar stop and it's at the market open. Uh, sorry, in this case, that's the London close. Um, but again, these opportunities will present usually around the opens or closes of major market sessions. So in this particular following day, now we've got our 20 period high has not been hit. And as Friday morning opened up, traders who um, 
may have been following or trending that market, we have the, the Asia Close London open. So and if you were long here, again, this is not hope and low, but we know that that 20 period high is now probably going to be tested and you've got a place where you can identify a one bar stop. So now let's take a look at the daily pound and apply that same rationale to our daily charts and even though the pound has obviously come out of a massive uh, move from the Brexit we still want to look at the openings of our month and look to see if we can identify 20 day new highs or new lows being hit so we see that with the British pound at the beginning of September the market made a new 20 day high um, Larry Connors talks about placing an entry below the last highest breakout and in this particular case you've got an inside bar you can identify a one bar stop and a break limit order entry we go in have a new 20 day low hit and in this case we see a breakout so breakout traders are now into this trade we get a one bar counter trend smart traders would limit order the low of that bull bar with a one bar stop but as we head into the next month we see a new 20 period high hit the market immediately rejects that and you can either limit order the low of that bar or enter in once that bar closes inside of the large range candle same thing it's a one bar stop and the market has still continued to trend down from there so if you haven't seen that before look up John Carter's hope and lope or Larry Connors turtle soup and Vic Sperando's uh, 2B and false break patterns which I'll include the links below so you want to identify a trending market an uptrend or a downtrend that is making a new 20 bar high or low find the bar in the trend that has the biggest and open and closed distance and either get a bar that will give you the highest close with a one bar stop or the lowest close with a one bar stop to limit order the long trade from the break of that high or limit order the short trade from the break of the low from the high period if you get a candle that closes inside of the range of the of the previous large range bar if it goes out and then comes back inside you want to trade the as soon as price closes back into that range your initial stop is always going to be as a maximum the high of that range or the low of that range and in the next two bars that trade should continue to move very quickly uh, and you should be able to move your stop to break even so check out hope and lope or turtle soup or the false break strategy with Vic Sperando uh, this occurs regularly on the hourly charts and on the end of day especially towards the beginning and the ends of the months and uh, hopefully you got some value out of today's video traders hope and lope stay disciplined stay focused Get better every day at your trading. Keep refining it, simplifying it, and may the markets go with you. Hi traders, it's Stacy Burke from Stacy Burke Trading. If you haven't done so, please head over to my website at stacyburketrading.com. I create updates on almost a daily basis, and I would love for you to receive them. Just click on the blog. If you want to enter your name and your email address, I'll send you my free audio program, The 7-Step Daily Routine for High Performance Traders. This is essential knowledge for all traders in all markets, and this is for helping traders to master the market with discipline, confidence, and a winning mindset. I appreciate all your feedback and comments. As always, traders, stay disciplined, and may the markets go with you.